Hello guys, and today I'm filming a barn vlog. This barn vlog is going to be a bit different. I'm going to be doing a voiceover. I'm going to see how much I like this because I don't really like to talk. So, yeah. There's me putting on a stud chain. Um, today is Monday that I'm writing because I couldn't go on Sunday because I was on vacation. So, I am just going to write him today, which is Monday. I'm probably not going to post this video till like Tuesday. I'm not really sure. But, yeah, there's me tacking them up, and today for writing, we're going to be working on, like, lead changes, because I suck at those, and, like, some, like, show prep, just getting my EQ better, because it's not good. We were supposed to have a show on the 8th, but it ended up getting canceled. I'm really sad about that, but, yeah, I just really wanted to work on how I looked on him, and there's us trotting. He was very good. He's quite lazy today, though, but oh well. The first time we went through the troubles, he was quite wiggly, so I took him through it again. And like you'll see here, this is the second time. It was a lot better. He wasn't as wiggly. I tried to keep him more straight. And even going this way, it was a lot better. Right here, we actually did a walk to Canada transition, but my dad didn't get on video, sadly. But that's okay. And then we went through the poles, and then we did this little, like, horse thing. We went through the trot poles. He wasn't too wiggly through that, but he's always wiggly. And then we got a canter transition. That was really nice. And then we went across the diagonal. I was hoping for a lead change, and we actually got the lead change. But we kind of forgot about the corner, so we circled. Yep, my bad. I should have taken him more further into the corner, but no, I just cut the corner completely. That was all my fault. And then we went down to the bounce. He was lovely through that. I didn't ride him for too long because it was quite hot, like I was overheating. I was going to ride him bareback at the end, but I just decided to get off because I was hot and tired and didn't feel like doing anything. So then I just went to untack him. He is just stands there. He's like Coco used to like wiggle around a bit, but he doesn't really do that too bad. But yeah. And then I bathed him, but I forgot to video that because of course I forgot to video it because I forget to video everything. But that's a okay. We got me sweat scraping him. And then he also has really bad fungus, so you have to do better down on his legs. And I had to put some coat defense on. So we could treat it. And that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me if you liked this voiceover or if you liked my old ways of doing the video.